If it comes to protecting your peace, I don't care how the next person feels about it. I have learned to address situations without having the need to address people. Growth for me is learning that I will sometimes be misunderstood no matter what happens, no matter my intent, no matter what I say, I could be as genuine as I choose to be and people will still choose to misunderstand me. People love to attack you because they feel like they can. I have literally been borderline silenced this past year and a half because I thought that being a good person meant letting people just be who they are. And that means being who you are too, unapologetically, fearfully, wonderfully. Hey babies, welcome back to the channel. It is your favorite girl, Miss Andy Vet, and today I'm going to be doing a super quick Express by E. And you guys know when it comes to Express by E's, it literally takes a lot for me to get here to be able to like, you know, be in a good place to talk about emotions. I'm one of those people that don't like to gossip period, let alone just like complain in front of a camera. So I do want these videos to be some type of substance to them other than me just dishing out negativity. So that's why it is usually like a gap between the Express by Eats because I want it to be reflective and positive. If you guys don't know, I recently turned 25 last week, I believe, um, October 12th. That's when I turned 25. And um, you guys know when birthdays come around, everybody comes around, new people come around, old people come around. And so that's kind of what recently has been happening for me. I've been able to kind of reflect on the people that I used to hang around, um, the different phases of my life and just all the things that I honestly forgot about have kind of like come back and resurfaced. And so it was a very interesting time for me to almost relive things and kind of rehash things that happened years ago. If you were born in the 90s like I was, we're getting up there, okay? We're getting in our 30s. If you are already in your 30s, you know what I'm talking about. So we're getting to that age where it's like, dang, we are past that I ain't got time for bullshit. I ain't got time for drama. I ain't got time for this. And I don't know if I'm the only one, but have you been like literally catching yourself dealing with things or not completely different than you've ever dealt with before? Like, for example, a lot of people that reached out to me were past exes, past ex friends, past exes in, you know, romantic relationships, past family members that I honestly hadn't spoken to in years. And in some of those situations, it's it's situations that I honestly just walked away from. One of my old toxic traits is that if we had a beef and I felt like you knew better, then certain things I wouldn't even address. I would literally just cut you off and go on about my business. And I hear a lot of people today saying that that is a negative thing. And if you know me and you've been on my channel for a while, I disagree. If it comes to protecting your peace, I don't care how the next person feels about it. It's about me, my mental health, and my relationship with Christ more than anything. And if you are hindering that and blocking that and not even promoting that, if you're not godlike in my life, then I don't owe you anything. Not anything. The job for me is to protect my peace. And as long as I'm not going out of my way to disrespect you, to be negative to you, to pour out toxicity into you, then I think it's okay for me to simply just let, let bygones be bygones. Okay, so that's just how I feel about that situation. And I realized that not only was I over the situation in terms of I didn't have guilt, I didn't feel remorseful. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes you, you remember people or situations and you're like, dang, I wish I would have done that differently. And you don't realize that you still underlyingly were carrying like emotions attached to that situation. It wasn't until recently that I realized how over something I was. Because another thing about life is that in my recent years of toxicity, I used to be considered what I would say is a runner. Where if somebody made me mad, like I said, I would just cut them off. I may move away from that town. I may change my phone number. I may, you know, get a new social media account or whatever the case may be. But I completely separate myself from the situation without addressing it. I have learned to address situations without having the need to address people. Every situation, every conflict does not require you to prove that you're right or to prove that you understand 
or to prove your intentions. Every situation is not required for you to even give a reaction or a response. Growth for me is learning that I will sometimes be misunderstood no matter what happens, no matter my intent, no matter what I say, I could be as genuine as I choose to be and people will still choose to misunderstand me. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes there are literally people in your life who no matter how bad you want them to be a certain way, no matter how much you see them having something or being something or being capable of doing something, they literally might not be that word capable. Sometimes we look at people with the potential that we want them to have instead of where they are in real, real life. Okay. Now, I honestly like was never going to, but I feel like it's important just because of my own personal self growth. My ex has made multiple videos of me on the internet and I didn't know about it until recently, until my birthday, <laughs> where this individual I don't even, I don't know. I don't, I don't know this person's intent. I don't know what they expected from me. Uh, and quite frankly, I don't care. I do feel like in life though, it's important to acknowledge, again, the things that happen to you without always acknowledging the person. I don't feel like my ex deserves acknowledgement. I just don't. <laughs> I feel like personally, during the course of our relationship, that is when I owe you respect. That is when I owe you love. That is when I owe you loyalty. After the ties are broken and after bygones have become bygones, I don't feel the need to do or say, you know, anything else concerning that. So on top of everything that happened during the duration of our relationship, to hear that this person has gone out of their way to make videos about me, mind you, out of all the people that I've ever dated, out of all the guys you guys have ever seen on my social media platform, out of all of the crazy videos that I've made about people, people who know me in real life, out of all of the toxic things that I have done in my life, and I, I admit to it all, okay? Out of all the things that I have said about people, I have said some terrible things about people that I still love to this day, and they know who they are. And so for this individual to go out their way, dog, and make what I consider like, let's say I dated a rapper and we, it didn't work out, so I started making diss records. This guy made diss YouTube videos, multiple videos about your girl. And at first I was embarrassed and I never wanted to mention it because I was like, what if somebody Googled me and they found it? Or what if one of my subscribers found it? And I'm just thinking to myself, like, all of these things to me confirmed why I'd never fuck with this individual again ever in life. And I think for him to be so full of himself and not even acknowledge these things, it says a lot about his character, but that's just life. Um, this individual made a YouTube video about me and the course of our relationship in such detail that other exes that I have been with found the video and were then commenting with him about me and our sexualization, like our sex life and things like that. So can you imagine people talking about you in that manner on the internet, like in public? This man has facilitated a way to publicly bash me. And it's like, again, I know that I've done some terrible things in my past. I know a lot of people that I've dated probably could have done worse things than this and would have been warranted, but I really don't know what warranted this guy to not only sit down, record these videos, post these videos, and then continue to entertain. Like, you didn't make just one. You made multiple videos about me. So, look, at the end of the day, I'm saying all this to say there's a lot of stuff that I've been dealing with, like, behind the scenes that I don't share with you guys. A lot of stuff that affected my mental health, especially these past two years with relationships. And I want to not necessarily embarrass myself, but just put myself back out there that I started this YouTube channel 10 years ago and I grew from it. This made me strong. And I'm not going to let any man that I'm with or not with try to take away my voice, try to take away like what I created. Because when somebody really loves you, like crazy enough, crazy enough, out of this terrible situation with my ex, I was able to rekindle with Christian and you guys know and probably saw that terrible video that I posted and you know I don't think we'll 
I don't know what the future holds, but I do know that I had to apologize to him and I had to ask God to forgive me. And I just had to really clear up a lot of stuff because one thing about me, like I mean what I say, but I don't want to be an ugly spirited person ever. And if what I said and did in the past is making an individual be as disgusting to me as my ex is being, then you know what I mean? It really makes you step back and reflect like, bro, whatever made you feel cold, I'm sorry. Because I don't want you to feel the way I'm feeling right now. And literally the past couple weeks, my life has literally transitioned <laughs> like crazy. And I'm learning to keep the best parts of my life to myself. Never stop voicing how you feel. Never stop voicing your truth. Never stop voicing your opinion. I have literally been borderline silenced this past year and a half because I thought that being a good person meant letting people just be who they are. And that means being who you are too. Unapologetically, fearfully, wonderfully, all that. This is me. Erin knows who she is. So the whole world can make YouTube videos about her. I know who I am. The whole world can have conversations. You can get closure from your ex. You can talk about me with mine. You can do podcasts. You can do disc records. You can write a whole bibliography. You can do whatever. Write a whole book about me, okay? Tabloids, all that. And I'm still going to be here making my YouTube videos, gorgeous as ever. And I'm still going to be happy. And what's for me is going to be for me. And can't nobody take that. Can't nobody threaten me with my life. Ain't nobody going to touch me. Ain't nobody going to do nothing to me. You get what I'm saying? And I'm here. And I think that out of everything that's happened these past couple months, and I told my ex this, I believe that everything every female said about my ex is true. You got to realize it's a pattern in people. Forget what they say to you. Look at how they live. Look at the way they interact with the people in their family, the people in their circle, the people they call friends. Look at the way they respect themselves. And that tells you like, that tells you a lot about a person. You get what I'm saying? You don't have to just look at these YouTube videos to know who Miss Ernie Vett is. Google me. And I say that as humbly as I know how, because I put in the work. Because I get on my knees and I pray. Because I've been doing this shit for 10 years. Because I'm a hustler. And even if my YouTube channel got taken away, y'all done seen it, I'm going to work my ass off and I'm going to get it back. There is nothing in this life that a person can take with me with their words, with their actions. With me. There is nothing you can do to stop this. And that's why I'm here making this video. People love to attack you because they feel like they can. And for a long time, I used to just sit there hoping that the storm would stop. It's not. It's not. That's not how my life... My mom, literally, I have so many chats with my mom now. My mom is like, nothing in your life has ever come easy. It's always been promised, though. I used to say things like, tomorrow is a promise, but it is. No matter what happens tomorrow, God has promised that he's got me, period. And I don't have to worry about it. None of this stuff that's ever happened to me was supposed to happen. And we still here. And we're going to keep... And it's only the beginning. We're going to keep going. 